Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And I've sort of got an unboxing. Um, and the reason I say sort of is because I've already unboxed it. Um, picked this thing up on Amazon. Um, it was inevitable. It's been sitting in my shopping cart for, for months um, because I'm into these small stubby um, bit drivers and the ones with the carousels have really caught my attention. Um, and I decided I'd open it and get some experience with it before I kind of did an unboxing where I'm kind of clueless wandering around in the dark. Anyway, it's the, the Vera KK Stubby Magazine One um, 7 piece. And what this thing is, is a um, basically a stubby bit driver, kind of like the Weha or the PB Swiss that I have. Um, and basically, the Weha has a carousel that pops out. The PB Swiss has this very nicely machined, smooth, clicking carousel. Remains in position. What I noticed right away with this Weha is when I pop its lid, it swivels. This is kind of interesting, which allows you basically to view any of the bits that are in here. And what do we have? We've got a slotted, um, so if you can see it that way, we've got uh, three torques and then two different Phillips. Um, so it flops around in here, but still feels secure. It seems like it's designed that way. Um, and then snaps down, not super tight, but tight enough. And it's, this is how it kind of compares to some of these others. This is the, the regular Weha bit driver. You can see here, this is a lot larger, the kind of swollen, which is interesting because the hand hasn't changed, but they've changed the dimensions of it. Here's the small one that comes with that socket set. And then it's actually pretty close to a section of their larger bit drivers, like this guy. Like a switchblade bitch dri bitch br <laughs> bit driver, kind of careful. Anyway, so uh, these I I have dropped these a bunch of times. You just notice that flew out. Um, it's it's different. Um, the Weha pops free almost immediately. Once it's free, the whole thing just falls out. The PB Swiss has got a nice, highly resistant. Um, movement to it. So it's the most expensive. It's also the lightest. Um, and this bit carousel, if we start with this dark dark uh, uh, slotted, we, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you've got six in that one. Weha, six. So that's what we've got with all of them. Um, the weight, the Weha is the heaviest. This is the lightest by just a little bit under when I weighed them under what this one is. This one's about an ounce more. Anyway, so the Weha, whoops. What I've discovered that is that uh, these bits slide out pretty easily, especially because of this, this twist, um, but they don't go in quite as easily. You have to learn to work. I actually slid that in just nicely because I've been practicing. Um, I don't know how long these plastic tabs will hold, um, hopefully a while, but if you're using something a lot, um, I can't imagine that that plastic isn't going to stress and, and fracture. Um, as far as the, the, the perceived bit strength, pretty good. It's about the same as these others. Um, the fit is kind of nice. Um, it actually does, even though it's got this kind of mushroom cap on the top, it does does feel pretty good. I'm starting to think though, when, as I play with a lot of these, that a ratcheting small bit driver like this is the answer. Um, just because of the motion, um, it'd be easy to just grab it tight and then you know, hold your hand still and, and work back and forth. I think that's why I like the snap-on. Um, the carousel's nice, handy, quick. Um, this particular set, um, you know, it's got the, the Weha bits, which are worth, I mean, the, um, the Vera bits, which are worth something on their own, but they do tend to, uh, um, fly out of here sometimes, not under my power. Um, twice I have launched these things 
trying to take them out or put them back. Um, so there's something about it I haven't quite dialed in. That's why I say I practiced, um, because I have tossed the bits out, trying to put them in different ways, and um, I have not had that problem with other bits, um, other bit drivers. Um, but overall, pretty good. The price point on something like this um, is in between. This is the least expensive. This is the most expensive. And this one's, whoops, right in between. Um, so it doesn't have the, the quite the, the feel of this, um, this bit driver. It's like a little bit different plastic. Um, so this Vera here um, has a grippier surface throughout. This, this plastic here, this black, feels a little bit harsher, a little bit uh, more slippery. Um, but other than that, they're very close, um, very similar. Um, and one of the things I'm interested in is kind of building out a, um, you know, my bit sets in different places. And having access to all of these um, in a stubby is pretty amazing. Um, I started using small screwdrivers with backcountry skiing. Um, one of the problems with bit drivers with the inexpensive ones are the, you know, the kind of the one-off. They make ski wax and they make a bit driver and or remark or rebrand one. Um, is how tightly this holds. Um, yesterday I was on the water and we were using a bit driver. Um, turned out to be a snap-on um, screwdriver with a bit driver uh, to adjust the um, uh, the sleeves on some oars as we were doing a, a river rafting trip, and we were actually working over the water. And if the bit got stuck in the screw and fell out into the water, we'd be well up a creek with a paddle, but it wouldn't be aligned quite right for the oar lock. Um, so bit drivers, there's a bit of a, a risk in that you can lose the, the important part of your driver. Um, so that's why a strong magnet's important, um, essential. Anyway, this is what it is uh, so far in my uh, early uh, experience with it. It works well. I do like it. I think, um, you know, the Vera handles, I'm kind of getting used to them better than a lot of the others. I mean, there's some duds. Here's a Napa. Um, I actually like this better than the Snap-on. The Snap-on just I keep coming back to it. It is nearly impossible to hold on onto. Um, anyway, uh, so if you're interested in a stubby bit driver, you know, this Vera right here is really a, um, a solid choice. And not that bad when you subtract out that it comes with a set of Vera bits. Um, and with that, dock out.